Hi guys, this is Abhi from Gokche DB. In this video, you're going to learn how to configure a network load balancer with an auto scaling EC2 group in AWS. Let's start by navigating to the EC2 dashboard, then click on launch templates, then hit create launch template. Give your launch template a name, then select an AMI. Choose an instance type, then select a key pair. Pick a security group, then scroll down to the advanced details. In the user data text box, I'm going to copy paste a startup script. In this script, I'm starting the HTTP D web server and grabbing the availability zone information from the metadata. I'm also writing the availability zone information to the index.html file. Hit create launch template, then scroll down to the auto scaling section. Click on auto scaling groups, then hit the create button. Give your auto scaling group a name, then select the launch template that we just created. From the availability zones dropdown, I'm going to select US East 1A and 1B, then hit next. Choose no load balancer for now, then hit next. For group size, I'm going to select two for desired, two for minimum, and five for maximum. Let's leave everything else to default, then hit create. Next, click on target groups under the load balancing section, then hit create. Choose instances as your target type, then give your target group a name. For protocol, I'm going to select TCP, and for health check protocol, I'm going to select HTTP, then hit next. Hit the create button, then scroll down to the load balancing section and click on load balancers. Push the create load balancer button, then select network load balancer. Give your load balancer a name and leave the scheme to internet facing and IP address type to IPv4. For network mapping, select US East 1A and 1B. In the listeners and routing section, select the target group that we just created, then hit create. Now you should see your network load balancer in provisioning state. In the left menu, click on the auto scaling groups, then go inside it and hit edit in the load balancing section. Check the first checkbox then select our target group, then hit update. Let's go back to the EC2 instances and select one of the instances that was created by our auto scaling group. Copy the IP address and paste it in a browser. As you can see, this instance is running in the US East 1A availability zone. Similarly, check the IP address of the second instance and confirm that it's running in the US East 1B availability zone. Now let's go back to our network load balancer and copy the DNS name URL and paste it in a browser window. Looks like our NLB is routing to the instance running on the US East 1B availability zone. Watch what happens when I shut down the EC2 instance running on the US East 1B availability zone. Now, if I go back to the NLB URL, it starts routing to the US East 1A EC2 instance. There you have it. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Until next time.